Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. It is Team Rare. And how are you doing on this Sunday's edition? I am doing splendid. Staying positive. Hopefully you guys and gals are doing the same thing. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on um, my Facebook page. It's called the Rare Show. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all those social media accounts. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink, or maybe you just want to just chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions. On this subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Either or, something will be down below. Let's get into this. Now, this coronavirus is out of control. It's very depressing, especially for all the wrestling fans around the world. Because you must know already that this coming up, Royal Rumble, you cannot attend the Royal Rumble in person. So, you have to watch it on your phone, tablet, or on your PlayStation, Xbox, or even you order it from DirecTV, Dish, any cable provider that way, because... No, they're not allowing any fans for the first preview of 2021. I don't know when you'll be allowing, sorry, I don't know when that we will allow us, the fans, be attending any wrestling events in their arenas. Probably springtime or summertime. I don't know what's going to happen. I know you're going to say AEW is doing it. Yeah, I know. I don't understand why W is not taking any risks. I don't know. It sucks. At first, when I first heard about this Thunderdome, oh wow, an awesome idea. You could have fans um, there. Well, not really there, there, but they're there through a computer. But I heard from the grapevine, from other people, that when they tried it at first, it's like overwhelming. Maybe though we should really think about this. So things will get better. But first, they always say things gonna get worse before it gets better. So I don't watch the news. So depressing. So you guys can read this, you know. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of major superstars. No no Lesnar. I, I could care less if he's there or not there. I mean I like Lesnar, don't get me wrong, but does he need these opportunities to be, I mean, these opportunities to go after the belt? No, he does not. You have a lot of guys on Raw and SmackDown, but we all know why that's not going to happen because McMahon loves the super heavyweights. Like, I mentioned this in my videos, I don't know if anyone watched my videos, probably because I suck and complain. You know, Hulk Hogan, he's a big guy. Batista, big guy. Uh, Taker, big guy. Um, Brock Lesnar, a big guy. Very, very rarely they give to the small guys. Like Remy Mysterio, CM Punk, um, Daniel Bryan. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, even Kane. Got his title opportunity, but not many like other people. And even Edge. Um, yesterday was a live sex thing between Edge and Lita. Great thing for Raw back then for ratings that would never work in this modern era for WWE. Because you know why? WWE McMahon have his, a lot of sponsorship, sponsorships. I don't know if that's really true or not true. So you will never ever will see a new version of the TV 14. It sucks, but what can we do, you know? So, it sucks how this thing, you know, 
some like uh, when I watch the NFL playoffs, some arenas, sorry, some football places, sorry, sorry some football or football stadiums are allowing to have fans. Other ones are nothing. So it it sucks. So you guys can read this, okay? And I'm really surprised when they brought in Ric Flair on Legend Night last Monday. I guess he, I guess he's not afraid of the Corona. Now, um, I think, in my opinion, it was sort of a letdown of the legends. Okay, some of them are legends, some of them are not legends. Okay, I guess who it depends who you are. Okay, but I can't bring in like The Rock and other stuff, but. Whatever, I guess everyone's busy, so they got to bring some backup. So I don't know if they really help the ratings out. Why do we got to always gotta bring these legends? I mean, I love legends, don't get me wrong, but your time has passed, okay? I know you guys will hate my comment. Hey, that's just my opinion, okay? Back in the day, like early 2000s, late 2000s, you had a great roster for Raw and SmackDown. You guys didn't uh, need help from the legends. Now you need legends of when I was growing up, you know. It happens because McMahon does not want to make new stars. And that is sad, you know. And I also heard that McMahon is not in great health. I don't know if that's really true. Not true. He needs to step down completely and don't turn back. Don't, when you feel better, don't go back. In control because you're making this company even worse. I'm sorry, you're not making the uh, the main show even better. Triple H can make it ten times better than you you even did the last ten years. It sucks, okay? People complain left and right about Raw and SmackDown. I watch it every episode. I never miss a beat. I have been watching every episode since '93. The '93 was not that great either, if you think about it. There's some good spots. And there's some bad spots, okay? So what's your thoughts? I know a lot of you are looking forward to attending any wrestling events, especially WWE, you know? I hopefully will get Roman Reigns versus The Rock and Mania. If not, then that should be pushed back because the whole Roman Reigns build-up is pretty decent. That's the only good thing about SmackDown. It's kind of sad. On Raw, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what the hell they're doing, you know? Another thing is, what the hell they're doing with... Um, Adam, was it Adam Cole? Whoever Roman Reigns is going to face that Roman Rumble. It must be a stupid thing, I think. But maybe it's going to be something bigger than happen to the Rumble. I thought that he's going to plan on having Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. That was a rumor not that long ago. I guess WWE decided to pull the plug on that. Because you know Daniel Bryan is going to be a part-timer, or he is. And maybe he should just concentrate on his family life instead of competing a lot. But that's just me, you know. If I have family, I'll do the same thing. But I don't have no family. Everyone out there, have a good one. Let me know your honest opinion on this article. Have a good one. Follow me. Subscribe. I want some great feedback. And hopefully you like my videos. Very soon I will have the Royal Rumble predictions when it gets closer to the Rumble time. What is your favorite Rumble winner? What is your favorite Rumble moment in WWE and WF history of all time? Peace out. Take care. See you guys tonight.